Tired of hardware headaches and GPU issues? For AI beginners, it's time to ditch complicated setups and expensive computers and start your AI journey hassle-free and budget-friendly. Introducing Mimic PC, a free online AI generator that provides access to a wide range of powerful AI tools like Stable Diffusion 3, Face Fusion, Fuelcos, Comfy UI, Flux, and more. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Mimic PC lets you create and learn AI directly from your browser without needing any technical expertise. This platform focuses on creativity without the technical hassles, and it offers some of the most affordable storage and computational resources available. Among these powerful tools is Comfy UI, an incredibly versatile AI drawing tool built on Stable Diffusion. If you're someone who loves having full control over your creative process, Comfy UI is the tool for you. It's designed for those who want to take their AI image generation to the next level, offering a sleek and intuitive interface that supports everything from text to image and image to image transformations, to advanced features like face swapping, character consistency, and even linking with other popular AI tools like Mimic Motion and Live Portrait. Now let's dive into the specifics of each AI tool. We'll work our way to the in-depth features of Comfy UI, so stick around. Getting started is easy. Simply head over to the Mimic PC website and sign up for a free account. I'll drop the link in the description below. Once you're in, you'll find a dashboard packed with ready-to-use AI apps. On the left side, you'll see options, including a balance card where you can track your funds. You can also add more funds through PayPal or a debit card. There are two prominent types of web UI platforms in the AI image generation landscape, Auto 1111 Web UI and Auto 1111 Web UI Ford. Both platforms are designed to offer powerful tools for creating AI generated images, but they have their own unique features and advantages. Let's explore them both. Let's dive into our first AI tool. Start by clicking the Add New App button. You'll see a selection of AI tools. The first one we'll explore is Auto 1111 Web UI. Click on the Get Started button, and you'll have the option to choose a version and select your preferred hardware. For now, I'm using the medium version, which costs 49 cents per hour. Below, you can set the time. I've chosen 30 minutes. Once you're ready, click Start and wait a few seconds. So, Auto 1111 is a stable diffusion tool that revolutionizes the creation of AI-generated images. It features a user-friendly interface, allowing you to easily run and manage your AI models for image generation. With its efficient and stable diffusion process, it consistently produces accurate and high-quality results. After a short wait, the AI is ready to use. You'll notice several AI tools available in the toolbar, but for now, we'll focus on the text-to-image feature. First, choose a stable diffusion style. I'll select one for this example. Next, I'll generate a prompt using ChatGPT, but feel free to use your own. I'll paste the prompt here, and if you have a negative prompt, you can enter it as well. Below, you'll find options to adjust the settings to your liking. Once everything is set, click Generate and wait a few minutes. As you can see, the AI has generated my image, and it's quite good. Don't forget to explore the other tools within this AI tool as well. Now we have Web UI Forge. At the core of the stable diffusion, Web UI Forge is a cutting-edge interface that combines the power of AI with user-friendly design. This interface is intuitive, allowing artists and designers to input their creative parameters and watch as the AI engine transforms their ideas into visual masterpieces. The Web UI Forge is crafted to be accessible to users of all skill levels, from beginners to seasoned professionals. To start, open Web UI Forge, and you'll notice that the interface resembles that of Auto 1111. However, there's a new addition of Flux option on the navigation bar. Clicking on Flux takes you to a dedicated module where you can begin creating. First, you'll need to choose a checkpoint, which is essentially a pre-trained model that influences the style and quality of your image generation. Once you've selected your checkpoint, proceed to the prompt box and carefully type out your desired image description. This is where your creativity comes into play, as a more detailed prompt can lead to better results. Afterward, take some time to adjust the various settings available, tailoring the generation process to your specific needs. Once everything is set to your liking, Hit the Generate button and wait for your image to be produced. The process is relatively quick, and in no time, your image will be ready. If you're not satisfied with the outcome, you always have the option to regenerate the image with different parameters. Let's move on to the next tool, Fucus. Fucus is an open-source image generation software designed with usability in mind. It combines the best elements of stable diffusion and mid-journey, requiring minimal manual adjustments while delivering high-quality text-to-image functionality. This tool is perfect for users who prefer a simplified interface that focuses on prompts and images rather than complex technical settings. Here's how it works. Click on Get Started, set your desired time, and then click Start. Once the AI opens, 
you'll see a user-friendly interface that's easy to navigate, even for beginners. Now I'll paste my prompt into the prompt box. Below, you'll find three sections, Input Image, Enhance, and Advanced. When I click on the Advanced box, more options become available. You can choose a preset, I'll go with Realistic, select the format, adjust the aspect ratio, and add a negative prompt if needed. After setting everything up, click the Generate button and wait a few seconds. As you can see, Fucus has generated our image, and it looks incredibly realistic. That's why I'm a fan of this AI tool. It consistently produces perfect images. And that's how you can use Fucus to create stunning visuals with ease. Let's take a look at another AI tool, Face Fusion. This is a next generation face swapper and enhancer that creates realistic and high quality results. The technology is powered by deep learning models that learn and understand facial features, combined with efficient real-time rendering technology. It accurately locates and tracks key facial points, such as the eyes, nose, and mouth, which are crucial for seamless facial fusion. To use this tool, open it up, and you'll see a user-friendly interface. In the source section, upload the image from which you want to swap faces. For example, if you want to place one face onto another image, upload that second image in the target section. On the left and right sides, there are settings you can adjust according to your preference. Once you upload your images, Face Fusion will automatically swap the faces for you. And that's how you can use this tool for face swapping. In Comfy UI, Flux AI is also integrated, offering powerful tools for AI image generation. If you're interested in a complete workflow for Flux and Comfy UI, I will provide a link in the description for you to explore in more detail. Now, let's look at how Comfy UI works. Lastly, let's explore Comfy UI an AI drawing tool that utilizes stable diffusion, offering a sleek and versatile interface with an efficient workflow. Comfy UI is more lightweight than Web UI, with a simpler and more flexible interface. It supports a variety of plugins to enhance image generation efficiency and the creative experience. To get started, click on Comfy UI, select your version and time limit, then click Start. The interface may seem complicated at first, but don't worry, that's exactly why I'm making this tutorial. Comfy UI gives you full control, allowing you to do text to image, image to image, image upscaling, control character poses, object positions, depth, and much more. You can even do face swapping, create consistent characters, and link to popular AI tools like Mimic Motion for animating characters, Live Portrait for animating photos, or Ton Crafter for generating anime scenes. The possibilities are endless. To make things easy, I'll guide you step by step. First, you'll notice a pre-existing workflow, but I'm going to create one from scratch, so I'll delete this. If you double-click on an empty area, you can search for nodes. I'll start with the Load Checkpoint node, which allows you to select the models for creating your images. You can move and resize nodes freely, giving you creative control over your workspace. Next, we'll build the node structure. Click Clip and drag a thread to add a node. I recommend starting with two Node Clip Text Encode nodes. These are your prompt nodes where you describe what you want in the image. To keep things organized, I'll change the top node's color to green for the positive prompt and the bottom node to red for the negative prompt. Once done, connect these prompts to the K sampler, the heart of the image generation process. The K sampler has several settings. Seed determines how and where random points appear on the image. You can set this to random or fixed. Steps control how often the image is cleaned of noise. More steps result in a more accurate picture. CFG determines how closely the K sampler follows your prompt. Higher values improve accuracy, but can affect image quality if set too high. Sampler underscore name refers to the algorithm used for image generation, affecting style and quality. Scheduler controls the pace of noise reduction, impacting the image's fineness. Denoise adjusts the noise level, influencing the final look. I recommend experimenting with these settings to understand their impact better. After setting up the K sampler, connect it to the empty latent image node, where you can specify image dimensions and the number of images to generate. Then, connect the load checkpoint to the K sampler to access the model, and link the VAE decode to convert the K sampler's data into visible images. Finally, add a save image node or preview image node, depending on whether you want to save or view the images. Once everything is connected, enter your positive and negative prompts in the respective boxes, adjust the image size and batch count, and click Q prompt to start the process. After a few minutes, your high-resolution, fully detailed image will be ready. As you can see, the image is in 4K and looks incredibly realistic. This is why I highly recommend Comfy UI. Let's generate another example. I get a new prompt from the chat GPT, and I change some settings in K sampler and then click on the Q prompt button. After waiting some moments, our image is ready. It's as looks good. It's an excellent tool for generating unlimited high-resolution images.
If you'd like a complete guide on Comfy UI, let me know in the comments section. That wraps up our walkthrough of Mimic PC and its amazing suite of AI tools. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, these tools make it easy to dive into AI and create stunning visuals without the need for expensive hardware or complicated setups. I hope this video has helped you understand how to get started with these powerful tools. And now, I've got an exclusive offer just for you. If you're interested in a lifetime subscription to this app for only $49, I'll provide a link in the description where you can check it out. Don't miss out on this great deal. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content on AI tools, tutorials, and tips. Also hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or if there's a specific tool you'd like me to cover in more detail, let me know in the comments below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.